welcome back to Wonder. We are taking the grand tour on page 24. Jack, Will, Julie, and Charlotte and I went down a big hall to some wide stairs. No one said a word as we walked up to the third floor. When we got to the top of the stairs, we went down a little hallway full of lots of doors. Julian opened the door marked 301. This is our homeroom, he said, standing in front of the half-open door. We have Miss Potosa. They say she's okay, at least for homeroom. I've heard she's really strict if you get her for math, though. That's not true, said Charlotte. My sister had her last year and said she's totally nice. Not what I heard, answered Julian, but whatever. He closed the door and continued walking down the hallway. This is the science lab, he said when he got to the next door. And just like he did two weeks ago, he stood in front of a half-open door and started talking. He didn't look at me once. while he talked, which was okay because I wasn't looking at him either. You won't know who you have for science until the first day of school. But if you want to get Mr. Holler, he used, but you want to get Mr. Holler. He used to be in lower school. He would play this giant tuba in class. It was a baritone horn, said Charlotte. It was a tuba, answered Julian, closing the door. Dude, let him go inside so he can check it out, Jack Will told him, pushing past Julian and opening the door. Go inside if you want, Julian said. It was the first time he looked at me. Why would somebody not want to look at Augie? Yeah. His, his nickname is Augie, yep. So August is his... Like, um, my friend had a, had, his name was Nathan, and I called him Nate. That was his nickname that I gave him. The janitor, Dan, I call Dan the man. man. Uh, that's the nickname that I give Mr. Dan the man. Uh... My friend Nate used to call me Sando. My name, Sandy, it, that, he gave me that nickname for... Now, one of my friends called me Sandra Day O'Connor. And Sandra Day O'Connor was the Supreme Court Justice. So there are nine Supreme Court Justices in the country and she was one of the first females on the supreme court justice she wasn't the first but we haven't had very many females and i thought that my friend called me sandra day that was kind of a cool nickname you call me miss richardson and you're not gonna call me sandra day or sandy or sando you're gonna call me miss richardson because that's your job right that's my name for you guys I don't know. Here we go. Um, so, I shrugged and walked over to the door. Julian moved out of the way quickly like he was afraid I might accidentally touch him as I passed by him. 
Nothing much to see, Julian said, walking in after me. He started pointing to a bunch of stuff around the room. That's the incubator. The big black thing is chalkboard. These are desks. These are chairs. Those are Bunsen burners. This is a gross science poster. This is chalk. This is the eraser. I'm sure he knows what an eraser is, Charlotte said, sounding a little like Via. How would I know what he knows, Julian answered. Mr. Tushman said he's never been to a school before. You know what an eraser is, right, Charlotte asked me. I admit I was feeling so nervous that I didn't know what to say or do except look at the floor. Hey, can you talk, said Jack, asked Jack Will. Yeah, I nodded. I still really hadn't looked at any of them yet, not directly. You know what an eraser is, right? Asked, Jack's, asked Jack Will. Of course, I mumbled. I told you there was nothing to see in here, said Julian, shrugging. I have a question, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. Um, what exactly is homeroom? Is that like a subject? No, that's just your group, explained Charlotte, ignoring Julian's smirk. It's like where you go when you get to school in the morning, and your homeroom teacher takes attendance and stuff like that. In a way, it's your main class, even though it's not really a class. I mean, it's a class, but I think he gets it, Charlotte, said Jack Will. Do you get it, Charlotte asked me. Yeah, I nodded at her. Okay, let's get out of here, said Jack Will, walking away. Wait, Jack, we're supposed to be answering questions, said Charlotte. Jack Will rolled his eyes a little as he turned around. Do you have any more questions, he asked. Um, no, I answered. Oh, well, actually, yes. Is your name Jack or Jack Will? Jack is my first name. Will is my last name. Oh, because Mr. Tushman introduced you as Jack Will. So I thought, ha, you thought his name was Jack Will, laughed Julian. Yeah, some people call me by my first and last name, Jack said, shrugging. I don't know why. Anyway, can we go now? Let's go to the performance space next, said Charlotte, leading the way out of the science room. It's very cool. You'll like it, August. Go. Yeah. There's three people, yep. You so your prediction is I don't think those three are gonna be friends with Augie or August. Yeah, or or um, with the other people, the, the, the friends because they look kind of, like they're like they need each other. They're trying to boss each other. Around. Okay, so they're trying to boss each other around. Can I, um, can I ask you to yep, as long as you don't know what the book says. Okay. Fake friends? Yeah. What do you mean by fake friends? Like they're going to say they're his friends, but not really like him. Oh, so say that they're his friends, but not really do anything about it. Yeah. The performance space. Charlotte basically didn't stop talking as we headed down to the second floor. She was describing the play they had put on last year, which was Oliver. She played Oliver, even though she's a girl. As she said this, she pushed open the double doors to a huge auditorium. Um, auditorium is kind of like a movie theater, but with a stage in front of it. So, like, if you've ever gone to a concert, you might have gone to an auditorium. It's a big room where everybody, so it's like tiers, right? So everybody's seats are a little bit higher than the seats before. So it's kind of like a football stadium, except it's inside a room, and there's a stage of a football field. Does that help you make sense of it? Don't we have an auditorium slash uh, lunchroom in our, in our high school? We call it an auditorium where we have lunch, or where the cafeteria is in the lunch room. But a true auditorium, so yes, there is a stage, they do put on plays, but a true auditorium, I believe, has tiered seating because then that way the person behind doesn't have to just sit and look at a head in front of them. 
So if you get a bad spot to watch the play, sometimes you sit there and look through somebody's head over at the high school. Does that make sense? Um, at the other end of the room was a stage. Charlotte started skipping toward the stage. Julian ran after her and then turned around halfway down the aisle. Come on, he said loudly, waving for me to follow, which I did. There were like hundreds of people in the audience that night, said Charlotte. And she took, and it took me a second to realize she was still talking about Oliver. I was so, so nervous. I had so many lines. I had all these songs to sing. It was so, 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 so hard. Although she was talking to me, she really didn't look at me much. On opening night, my parents were all the way in the back of the auditorium, like where Jack is right now. But when the lights are off, you can't really see that far back. So I was like, where are my parents? Where are my parents? And then Mr. Resnick, our theater arts teacher last year, he said, Charlotte, stop being such a diva. And I was like, okay. And then I spotted my parents and I was totally fine. I didn't forget a single line. While she was talking, I noticed Julian staring at me out of the corner of his eye. This is something I see people do a lot with me. They think I don't know they're staring, but I can tell from the way their heads are tilted. I turned around to see where Jack had gone to. He had stayed. There we go. in the back of the auditorium like he was bored. We put on a play every year, said Charlotte. I don't think he's gonna wanna be in the play, Charlotte, said Julian sarcastically. You can be in the play without actually being in the play, Charlotte answered, looking at me. You can do the lighting, you can paint the backdrops. Oh yeah, whoopee, said Julian, twirling his finger in the air. But you don't have to take the theater arts elective if you don't want to, Charlotte said, shrugging. There's dance or chorus or band. There's leadership. Only dorks take leadership, Julian interrupted. Julian, you're being so obnoxious, said Charlotte, which made Julian laugh. I'm taking the science elective, I said. Cool, said Charlotte. Julian looked directly at me. The science elective is supposedly the hardest elective of all, he said. No offense, but if you've never ever been in school before, why do you think you're suddenly going to be smart enough to take the science elective? I mean, have you ever even studied science before? Like real science? Not like the kind you do in kits? Yeah, I nodded. He was homeschooled, Julian, said Charlotte. So teachers came to his house, asked Julian, looking puzzled. No, his mother taught him, answered Charlotte. Is she a teacher, Julian said. Is your mother a teacher, Charlotte asked me. No, I said. So she's not a real teacher, said Julian, as if that proved his point. That's what I mean. How can somebody who's not a real teacher actually teach science? I'm sure you'll do fine, said Charlotte, looking at me. Let's just go to the library now, Jack called out, sounding really bored. Why is your hair so long, Julian said to me. He sounded like he was annoyed. I didn't know what to say, so I just shrugged. Can I ask you a question, he said. I shrugged again. Didn't he just ask me a question? What's the deal with your face? I mean, were you in a fire or something? Julian, that's so rude, said Charlotte. I'm not being rude, said Julian. I'm just asking a question. Mr. Tushman said we could ask questions if we wanted to. Not rude questions like that, said Charlotte. Besides, he was born like that. That's what Mr. Tushman said. You just weren't listening. I was so listening, said Julian. I just thought maybe he was in a fire too. Jeez, Julian, said Jack. Sh just shut up. You shut up, Julian yelled. Come on, August, said Jack. Let's go. F Let's just go to the library already. I walked toward Jack and followed him out of the auditorium. He held the double doors open for me, and as I passed by, he looked at me right in the face, kind of daring me to look back at him, which I did. Then I actually smiled. I don't know. Sometimes when I have the feeling 
like I'm almost crying, it can turn into an almost laughing feeling. And that must have been the feeling I was having then because I smiled, almost like I was going to giggle. The thing is, because of the way my face is, people who don't know me very well don't always get that I'm smiling. My, my mouth doesn't go up at the corners the way other people's mouths do. It just goes straight across my face. But somehow, Jack Will got that I smiled. I had smiled at him, and he smiled back. Sure. Okay, so my friend says I think Jack Will might, might actually be a real friend and the others might be pretend friends. We'll have to see if you guys are right. Julian's a jerk, he whispered before Julian and Charlotte reached us. But dude, you're gonna have to talk, he said this seriously like he was trying to help me. I nodded as Julian and Charlotte caught up to us. We were all quiet for a second. All of us just kind of nodding, looking at the floor. Then I looked up at Julian. The words supposedly, by the way, I said. What are you talking about? You said supposedly before, I said. I did not. Yeah, you did, Charlotte nodded. You said the science elective is supposedly really hard. I heard you. I absolutely did not, he insisted. Whatever, said Jack. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go, agreed Charlotte, following Jack down the stairs to the next floor. I started to follow her, but Julian cut right in front of me, which actually made me stumble backwards. Oops, sorry about that, said Julian. But I could tell from the way he looked at me that he wasn't really sorry at all. All right, I have a worksheet. Shh. I have a worksheet for you, and this one's a little bit different. I'm kind of excited because I want to kind Jack's kind of a nice person now. All right, so today we read pages. Start at 24, and we read to page, I think it's 30. Yep. So, question number one says, a question I have about today's reading. Remember, a question starts with a capital letter and ends with a question, question mark. So, you are going to do number one. So, a question starts with a question or a capital letter and it ends with a question mark. Then, and you are going to obviously put your name at the top. You're going to skip the second piece because it says answered by. And then you're going to go to the back. And the back says, one question I have for blank. So on the blank, you're going to write a one question I have for, maybe you have a question for August. Maybe you have a question for Julian. Maybe you have a question for Charlotte. Maybe you had a question for Mr. Tushman. But Mr. Tushman was not in this part. So the only choices you could say, I have a question for, it could be August. Charlotte. Julian. Or Jack will. So you need to pick one of those characters and put them on the line. And then, of course, you're going to ask them a question. So if my question was for Julian, I might say, Julian, why are you so mean? Or Julian, should, do you think that's okay to be that, that mean to August? Obviously, you're not going to use those questions, but I want you to think of a question that you could ask 
for uh, I have a question for August, Charlotte, Julian, or Jack Will. Okay, any questions for me? When you get your paper you and put your name on it, you can get ready for lunch. All right, talk to you later. Bye.